going to the movies with some of <laughs> my favorite films, probably yours too. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. The Pops is following up the grand reopening of Music Hall with a salute to the music of John Williams. And uh, we're talking Star Wars, Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones. Uh, conductor John Morris Russell joins us now to talk all about that. And, and we're going to talk to John Williams in a moment. But the, you, the Music Hall has been reconfigured. It's been yeah. renovated. So you must be just itching to go. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You know, uh, of course, you know, it's, it's been a year and a half yeah. where we've uh, uh, so much immense work has, has taken place. And uh, the symphony had a fantastic uh, uh, opening last weekend. And now the pops, pops is back <laughs> on stage and we're in it. Well, no. I want to know how much during that renovation process, how much did you get to know about what was happening? Like how much were you guys, in, you involved in the process? Well, it was a massive Members team. Members of the symphony. Right. Yeah. Uh, a massive team. Uh, actually, I mean, I'd go there about once a month, put on the hard hat and just kind of che check things out. Okay. You know, it's just more for curiosity. My wife, is on the board of the Society for the Preservation of Music Hall, and oh. she was in there like every week, mm -hmm. uh, you know, discovering things. It, it yeah. wasn't. It wasn't just kind of like renewing what was there. Right. But there's a lot of stuff that was rediscovered that no one that like, everyone had forgotten about. Like. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, on the exterior, there are these black bricks. There are all these patterns of black bricks, black and and, yeah. and red bricks, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, when it was sandblasted in the 70s, that patina was taken away from the exterior of the black bricks and they kind of faded and no one remembered them. And so as, as my wife was uh, uh, taking tours, she started noticing some shadows and then started doing research on some old oh, photos. Wow. Huh. And so they have stained all of those oh. individual bricks. Wow. There are patterns, uh, uh, there are crisscrosses. Um, uh, there, I mean, it, it's a lively rhythm of uh, uh, black and red bricks on the That's exterior neat. in Corbett Tower. Yeah. Uh, uh, they removed the ceiling. Uh, and found that there was an extra 20 foot of ceiling. Wow. Cove, oh, uh, wow. a huge cove ceiling with uh, a stencil details of all sorts of uh, flowers and, and, and things. Gosh. And they completely redid that as well. Uh, uh, it, it's been an extraordinary discovery uh, to, to figure out like, you know, why Music Hall was, was, was built in the first place in 1878. Yeah. It's a very similar situation that it is now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the, the country was burgeoning. Uh, uh, Cincinnati was actually kind of being left in the dust back in 1878 because railroads were going through, everything was going through Chicago. Right. And Cincinnati wanted to do something to say, hey, we're here and we right. got it. Wow. And so all the business leaders got together and they said, we're going to make a place, not just for orchestras, but also for scientific exhibitions, for technology, yeah for mm -hmm. horticulture, and it was a part where science and music and art uh, and culture all became one place, right. and it defined Cincinnati. And here, 140 years later, we invest all of this money in Music Hall at a time when Cincinnati's duking it out with a whole lot of other cities right. yeah. for, for prominence, not only in, in the Midwest, but, but all over the country. And our civic leaders have come together and said, we're gonna make Music Hall that place, mm -hmm. right. that That's we're gonna cool. put Cincinnati on, on the map internationally, because of our art and culture. And what a way for you and the Pops to go in and kick it off yeah. your way. John Williams <laughs> and the Imperial March and all these kinds of things. And it was for you, man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, really, in, in terms of music that is just so universally recognized in right. this day and age, has to be fun to put in a show like well, this together. Well, you know, uh, uh, when we're de determining our programming for this, you know, it was a couple yeah. years back. And, you know, of course, the Pops did so much. You know, you know it could have been Broadway or it could have been sure. uh, uh, film or you know whatever we wanted to have pure orchestral music yeah. we wanted to focus yeah. on sound and uh, the brilliant orchestration of John Williams and mm -hmm. the brilliant uh, comp composition of, of this guy uh, and so we put together kind of two halves the first half is, is kind of a mishmash of, of greatest hits mostly from Steven Spielberg films and also standalone works and the second half is nothing but Star Wars oh! we'll actually we actually have uh, 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 selections from every one of the films one Ooh. through seven I love it and so it, it musically awesome. it tells a story uh, of all the characters and all the light motifs that, that John Great. Williams uses, including The Force Awakens, oh. which is this massive suite. And it was nice, you saw the trailer, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a couple hundred times so far, JMR. It, it, it was interesting, actually, you know, as a music geek, you know, I, I'm watching the trailer, but I'm, I'm listening to, oh, what music are they putting on yeah. the bed, right? Uh, yeah. and, and lo and behold, it's all music from Force Awakens. And so it, it's like The Force Awakens when, when it came out, 
kind of created this new musical universe, which now the, the, the next films coming out are all kind of riffing kind of on, right. on, on, on those materials. So it's Friday night, doors open at 5.30 for the pop celebration of the music of John Williams. Uh, they're calling it the Pop the Cork opening night ceremony, and we have a link at local 12. Right, and, and that's a very, very special party. Uh, it's Dinner a standalone ticket. And yeah, 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 it, it's a separate ticket, but everyone's going to be there. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, first half, we also have, first half of the program, a world premiere of John Williams. Oh! From Schindler's, Schindler's List. List. Oh, yeah. right. Schindler's List, written, it was originally written for violin. Right. This is written for cello. Yeah. It was written, uh, written for uh, Yo-Yo Ma, and it was never performed. And when we asked John Williams for a premiere, he said, well, I'm kind of busy. I'm writing a movie right now. But I do have this one piece. But he got it, yeah. yeah. Right on. John Morris if, Russell yeah, got for, it for, for any, Yeah, for anybody who uh, doesn't believe it's not going to be a fantastic show, I just say I find your lack of faith. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Jeremiah, it's always great to see you. 914, we'll be right Cheers. back. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>